Hey everyone, Matthew here with hole number two, the par four from the current Origin Lynx nine hole cup. So I, I sunk this one three out of three and I thought it was quite the money set up and I wanted to share with you what I did. So I used the level five here, extra mile. Now you can see I'm using a Marlin ball and I'm adjusting for 10% downhill. Give it all the top and all the right spin with this level of, of club and with this ball. Set it up with a clear ring, you know, cutting the rough on the right. Just check that your ball guide is not too close to that rough on the right. Could definitely be in play if you're not uh, cautious. Now the reason I chose the right, the, excuse me, the left side to play instead of the right side. Now you'll see here our drive yardage. 318 yards. So the reason I chose the left is you'll see on the second shot here how we have kind of a nice tailwind to play with. If you approach from the right side, you're going to be stuck with a really decently strong head uh, crosswind. So I'm not interested in that. Here I'm checking my club distance uh, with the thorn. Uh, I'm estimating, that based on that check there, that it's going to be from a 318-yard drive. I'm playing this at mid-adjustment with 0% elevation. And I use zero spin at all. No top, no back. It's not wrong to do so. However, I just found that you know, um, it's set up nicely for me, just like that. Now, as you can see, I am landing in front of the fringe it is not wrong to land on the fringe or on the green but i just found that this nice mid distance shot set up quite well for me bounce it up get it in the hole so here on the next account i'm also playing the same shot with an extra mile five marlin ball get that top spin all the right spin 10% downhill. We're going to adjust this one here for 1.7 rings. Good. Make nice clean contact. I'm going to get it up into that 313 to 320 yard drive distance range. This one here you can see comes in a little bit shorter than our previous one, but 313 yards. We size it up way down the bottom there. It's min. I know I'm going to have to bring it back a little bit with the adjustment. So I said, decided, you know what? It, it might be a closer to 40%, but we're going to just try playing it at mid again with no spin, 0% elevation. And at the low levels thorn, yeah, I've got the ball guide, what, about a green square to a green square and a half short of the hole to account for that missing ball guide. You know what to do. Bing. Right in the middle. Up and in the hole. Good. So the third account, you see now, we're sticking with the Marlin ball. I took a little tick off, just four top max right, because I do have the extra mile level six. And it's a higher level rookie wind up in that four category. I did cut a little closer to the right rough here. Um, not a huge difference, but... You know, you start to feel a little bit of confidence in the hole. And, of course, you're not uh, playing it quite as carefully as you might have on the first run through. And this is the order that I played these accounts in during the tournament. So, nonetheless, down the middle. Seems slightly more left than last time, even though I set it up to the right. But we're right in there at 320 yards. And once again, at 0% elevation. Setting up here, this time with a level 4 thorn. But again, no spin. Leave that ball guide a little bit short. At least a green square. Here with the middle level wind, about 3.4. In the twos being the lowest level for the rookie wind ranges. Roughly from 2 to 5 at the very max. Set it up. And I wish you the very, very best of luck here on hole number 2. Looking to make this one uh, hopefully throughout the rest of the tournament. All the very best of luck to you in the Origin Lynx 9-Hole Cup.